when America promised to take care of its old people, politicians basically lit a fuse. Now this fuse will happily burn without this exploding, meaning Social Security and Medicare run out of money. As long as there are a lot of you paying into the system and not too many of us taking things out. Problem is, we old people keep living longer. When Social Security began, most Americans didn't even reach age 65. Social Security was just for the few who did. But today, so many of us live well beyond 65 that there are just not enough of you young people to pay for us. Politicians won't admit that. Social Security and Medicare are a guarantee. We hear that from both parties. As long as I'm president, no one will lay a hand on your Medicare or your Social Security. And the most clueless say, Social Security today is not on the line going broke. But it just is. Social Security reserve funds are going to run out by 2034. In addition, Medicare will go broke because doctor, drug, and hospital bills keep getting more expensive. Of course they do, because no one has an incentive to save money. Under government's popular health insurance program, everything seems free. So none of us pay attention to costs. So costs keep rising faster than what your payments will cover. Soon there won't be enough of you young people to keep this from blowing up. Sooner or later it will blow up. Dan Mitchell of the Center for Freedom and Prosperity. We don't know how fast that fuse burns. Is it going to blow up two years from now or 20 years from now? After a Republican senator proposed small changes that might preserve entitlements, President Biden said this at the State of the Union. Some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Republicans booed and complained, too. But Medicare and Social Security do need rescue. A lot of our politicians figure out, well, maybe it blows up in five years or 10 years or 20 years, but I won't be in office anymore. It's clear why politicians fear telling the truth about this problem. France's president pushed through a plan to raise retirement age to just 64. The reform is necessary to prevent the pension system from going bankrupt. Unions stopped picking up garbage and people started protesting. Months later, they're still protesting. All this over being asked to work fewer years than Americans do. There is massive rejection among the public. You have people around the world who just think somehow if you say something's a right, they should get it. Healthcare should be treated as a human right. And they don't even think about, well, who's gonna pay for it? Or they say rich people will pay. Tax the billionaires. But even if government took all the wealth from every billionaire, it wouldn't come close to covering America's coming bankruptcy. Raising taxes won't solve it, and politicians fear raising retirement age or cutting benefits because they think you won't vote for them. So what will happen? The only other alternative is printing money. I suspect that's what America will do. The politicians won't face this, but they'll get to the point where they don't have enough. They'll just print more and we'll be like Zimbabwe. That's definitely the danger. Zimbabwe's leader printed more money to fund his spending. Soon there was so much inflation, they started printing these billion dollar bills. When the currency collapsed, they were printing hundred trillion dollar bills. Yet politicians don't learn. President Biden unveiling his nearly seven trillion dollar budget today. There are ways to defuse the bomb. Biden might spend less. We could raise retirement age. Mitchell proposes what countries like Australia and Chile did, private savings accounts. But we need to do something. Sooner or later, bad things will happen to senior citizens because the government will either cut their benefits or all of a sudden they'll start rationing health care uh, or the reimbursement rates will be so low that you won't be able to find a doctor or a hospital to treat you as a senior citizen. That's our future if we don't privatize, raise retirement age or cut benefits. This will explode. Before it does, if you like these videos and would like to help us make more, please click that button.